Hey, Sneakling is back today, again and again and again. Oh yeah, I'm back baby, I'm back, back in the hood, oh yeah. This is Guide Dog 501, based on Puppy Wary, yes, Puppy of the Wary, that sort of thing. Well, I think it is anyway, but we'll have a look in a minute. Guide Dog is really small, it's about 105 megabytes, it's really fast, quick to install, or just chuck in a USB stick. And it comes with open box, basically, and a bit of the old tint too, yeah, and a W bar at the bottom to make it a nice, clean desktop. Do you see what I mean? Really clean. And no, I don't live near this photo either, just in case you're just going to ask me. A quick look round and go through it. There's not too much in it, but if you want something that's really fast, really super stable, hopefully, well, and then crash on me yet, this is installed, by the way, it should be super fine, super fast. Okay. So we've got our time and date up here. We'll get that up here. People manager. We have our Ethernet connection because I'm wired here. That's my storage space and my volume. Volume. And that's it. Look. Apart from what you get on the W bar. Which is Firefox, Pigeon, Transmission, Genie, your file manager, and Dead Beef. Oh yes, Dead Beef. So I'll open Dead Beef up just to show you. If you've all seen it before, it does what it says on the tin. It's not corn beef, it plays music. Okay, it does not rip. Okay, just in case you wanted to know. But works super fine. Right, E2 is your file manager, which is ML FM2 or File Manager 2. This is your file manager. Rox has been disabled or got rid of one or the other. And this is it here. What do you want to do and do what you want to say and stuff like that? Yes, check out your rooty stuff. Nice, okay. So, Genie, I'll just click it so you can see when it opens, comes up. Genie does what it says on the tin. It does Genie stuff. It's magic, so to say. Yes, magic. For editing, basically. Transmission, I won't open up. Pigeon, I won't bother because you know it's there. Firefox, on the other hand, I will open up. There we go. Reasonably fast. I don't know what version of Firefox it is. It won't be too current. No, it's only 701. Oh, but it's decided it wants to update for me while I'm here. So... While we're doing that, we'll just wait a little while, you know, yeah, okay. So shall I minimise them? While we're doing that, we'll minimise some minimising stuff, okay? Right, you're saying, is that all it's got? No, it's not all it's got, okay? If we right-click the desktop, as in open box and other small distros, arch bang, crunch bang, 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 bangs and all them, we'll do it like this, okay? You right-click. Puppy does it as well, of course. So you've got your applications, you've got your desktop, all there for you. So you see this is quite a bit different from ordinary Puppy, isn't it? Yes, it is. I mean, you've got the Puppy stuff in there, but it's different, okay? Setup. You get Elsa, boot flash installed to Puppy USB, just to put it on the stick for you. Don't forget to do your firewall stuff before you even start. If your Puppy Package Manager, he does say you don't actually use everything from the Puppy Package man Manager because it won't always work because he's took a lot of stuff out, okay? Under utilities, it's all there, baby. It's all there, okay. Under file system, there's our file manager, a search tool, a GD Mac just uses analyzer. Under graphics, you get meh. You know, like, image you have, Should I look, open it? Yeah, let's have a look. There you go, and you just open up a document or whatever, or a picture. Yeah, meh. Yeah, very into it. We've also got a pup camera, digital camera access, they're all coming with that now. RGB paint and exane for your scanning. Under documents, you still get Abbey Word, which is nicey nicey. It won't be the most current, obviously, because it's not based on the most current version. Okay, I'm still a bit of a drinkage flood. Hold on a minute. Mm. You also get a leaf pad text editor too, and Zathura PDF viewer. Ooh, no, I've seen that before. before. Oh, it's an online one anyway. Give it that. Okay. <clears throat> of course, you will get a calculator and G numeric as standard. B Crypto Standard and Osmara Standard, which is all nice in such a small download. Network is your puppy stuff. Oh, there's putty in there as well. There's a few other different things. As you can see, Firefox is also here because we're using it at the moment while it's updating. Yeah, oh, Slife, it is your email client, by the way. That's okay. All right, as you see, AU Mix for your audio mixer, Dead Beef, I've shown you, M Player for your webcam stuff, and M Player Media Player, and P Burn for CD, DVD, and Blu ray writer. Whether it writes a Blu rays, I don't know. I've never actually tried because they've always been quite expensive. So, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Let's open these up again and see where we got to. Okay, do we want to apply the update? Let's apply the update. Will it restart for us? Firefox is starting. It would go bang, wouldn't it? Or something like that. Just about to fight that. <coughs> Excuse me, a bit of coughage there. <coughs> right, in theory, we should have had enough. Oh, yeah. 
straight from 7 to 10 were updated, so that's pretty nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click there now. I'm going to type in Guide Dog anyway. It's already come up, it's already been there. Guide Dog 501, go to search. And if you go to the forums, it's a forum based one. If you want to download it yourself, you will have to go to the forums, okay? So we'll click on over there. I'm not going to log in, because I don't want to do it just yet. I'll go to number one, the front page. There we go. Comes from Igulda, and he just wanted to get all stuff to Harry, he wanted it. And there's all the bits and stuff all about it. You can download it from here as well, by the way. Okay. And there's a full list of all the software that he's done in it command line as well. Okay. He's put it all here for you to have a look at. So if you want it, this is where you go to. Okay. You can get the dev as well if you want to, by the way. Yeah, you sure can. If you're running puppy, you get wget or Debian even. He's got some screenshots here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has got some bugs, but I think he's managed to fix quite a few of them. So yeah, that's pretty good. So I'll go to the Bubba and see how the page renders. Oh, that'd be funny. A very nice indeed. Yes. That renders really super duper. I'm pretty impressed. I'll just go to the news page again. Just how we go. Yeah, it renders really nice. I'm impressed with that. Yes. Very impressed. Goody goody gumdrops. So yes, Guide Dog 501. Apparently it's gonna be a 64-bit version as well. It might already be released, I don't know, because this actually came out at the end of October. But as I haven't been feeling myself, because I've got no hands, I hadn't actually got around to doing it. But yes, on the whole, it runs really fast and quick. And if that's what you want for for browsing and stuff like that, and just want it super duper fast, Guide Dog is the puppy for you. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.